Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Okay, so I was filming, 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 and realized it actually wasn't filming. So there was something wrong with my camera. So now I'm restarting this video that I'm halfway through in my mind. So anyway, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Today I wanna to give you guys part one of my Sephora Spring Event VIB haul. I went this past weekend, picked up a bunch of stuff, didn't get everything on my list, got some things that were not on my list, and there's still a couple things that I really want to get. So I'm going to go back um, this weekend, which is a birthday weekend. Woo, woo. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you what I picked up initially for my initial haul. And I got to start with what's on my lips. It is also, it's like swatched on my hand right here. It is the Dior, the new Dior lacquer lip plumpers. And this is called Glitterati. Are you kidding me? It's made for me. I wanted a new, like a birthday lip. And when there was one called Glitterati, it probably didn't matter what color it was, I was gonna get it. But this like soft, like pinky glittery nude is really perfect for me. And this is more of like a rosy nude, which is a great shade for my natural lip color. Um, so that is from Dior. Um, I also picked up from Dior, one of the um, Dior Show Maximizer 3D Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primers. I recently got one of these sent to me from Octoly and I love it. It is, I've been using the sample sizes. They sent me a full size and I thought to myself, I love this so much. I better get another one because I think it's that good. And I feel like, I've said this before, but I feel like it's making my lashes grow. So that's what I picked up from Dior. Um, from Guerlain, I picked up Lingerie de Poe foundation. I'm still really on the fence about the baby glow based on some of, uh, actually probably Lulu, based on your comment, I'm like super on the fence about it. And the store I went to didn't have my shade, so I'm gonna swatch it in another Sephora this weekend. But I picked up um, 2C, which is like Rose Claire or whatever. It's like very fair, it's my shade. So I can't wait to test out the new formula <clears throat> and see what I think about that. Okay. So I picked up a couple things from Armani. I told you I was gonna pick up some of these eye tints. And so I picked up um, Camel Smoke and Taupe Smoke. Let me swatch these for you. Here is Camel Smoke. Um, and they didn't have testers of these in the store even for me to swatch. And then this is Taupe Smoke. So let's show you these next to each other. Camel Smoke is this one and Taupe Smoke is that one. And this Camel Smoke is a really light brown, but Taupe Smoke is really, really pretty. I'm not sure if, about that or not, if I like that or not. I think I do. I don't know, but I love that. It was hard because like I said, they didn't have these to swatch. Um, and of course I don't have anything to like wipe my fingers on. Uh, good planning as per usual, Wheeler. So I did pick up, like I said, two of those. Um, from YSL, I picked up the Touche Clock Glow Shot and I got shade three Sunset. I had such a hard time deciding what shade to get of this. Um, but ultimately I just thought this one was just really pretty and kind of just felt different from anything else I have. It's a little bit more of like a pinky. Oh, this is really pretty. Like a pinky bronze glow. And I just think it'll be really fun for summer. And it's really nice on my like very fair skin, if you can kind of see that right there. So we'll see what I think about this. It gets good like feedback. I asked several cast members like what they thought about it and they all said, oh, I love those. You never know if they really do or not. Um, I picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Serum because I always go through that. I always need that. From Buxom, I picked up two of their um, glosses. I picked up Sandy and Andrea, um, two of their full on lip polishes and let me show you those shades. I think those are like the most perfect. Just put them in my purse and go shades. And Andrea is more of a duochrome-y. Oh my gosh, why can't I get this open? Oh 
but it's like a very, I don't know if you can see that right there, like a really subtle peachy duochrome. I think this is so pretty, but this is very, very light. Let's see if I can find a better. There you go. I mean, it's light, but I like that. And it has a little bit of a like rosy duochrome to it. And then Sandy is more of that just like nude pink that I always like. Um, this is the weirdest place that I've ever like done swatches, but that is Sandy. And hard to tell which one I like better. Okay, for my kit, I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Unwrinkled Turbo Face Serum. This is their clinical skincare, and this targets the appearance of the six most stubborn, deepest wrinkles in facial expressions with a turbocharged blend of 18 potent neuropeptides and peptides with a 70% solution of hyaluronic acid, vitamins A, C, and E, and it's for all skin types. So I recently read a review on this. Um, oh, where did I read? I can't even remember where I read it. Oh, you know what? I'm in a I'm in a group on Facebook of professional artists, and somebody mentioned this and said, if you're ever working with mature clients that have the deep 11s or the smile lines or the crow's feet um, or the forehead wrinkles, um, the nose scrunch, you can see a difference immediately that it just firms that. And so um, I think the 11s and especially like the marionette lines right here are really common. Um, and same with those like pout lines that are here, really, really common that I, wrinkles that I see a lot. And I'm always looking for something that would actually maybe tighten or fill those in. So I'm going to give this a try. I want to know if any of you have tried this before. And if so, if you saw results, what you thought about it, if you liked it, because this was kind of pricey. And so I really hope that it works. Um, one of the things that I'm probably the most excited about is that I found the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. I should have used this today. I haven't even used this yet. Um, what I do know about this is that you only need the amount of two rice grains for this to use this. So a tiny, teeny, tiny little amount of this. Probably most of us, sorry, that's so loud. Probably most of us would be guilty of overusing a product like this, but the size of two tiny rice grains is how much you need. Um, oh, it smells beautiful. And it looks like it comes with a little like thing to like scrape it up with. I'm assuming that's what this is. Um, I cannot wait to try this. I'm so excited about this. This was like number one on my list. Um, did anybody else pick this up? If not, it's not too late. You can pick it up for a weekend too. Um, Cause this video will be up in time. And then another thing that was not on my list and I don't know what happens to me in skincare, but I picked up the Tatcha Water Cream Refreshing Anti-Aging Pore Fecting Japanese Wild Rose. Um, I don't know. I just get, I like go over to Tatcha and I see their stuff and it's like so beautiful and the packaging's amazing. Oh, this is like still sealed. Um, I don't maybe not want to open that yet because I do need to finish my Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic first and then I'm going to use this. But, um, I love that it has its like little spatula on the top. I think this is like so cute. I love their packaging. So anyway, I don't know. I wanted to try this for summer. It seems like it might be a great moisturizer for summer. And I didn't like, it didn't work for me. Who was it? Um, maybe the Jart or maybe it was the PTR water bomb. One of those, somebody had a water bomb, did not work for me, but I like the concept. So I wanted to try Tatcha's to see if that might work for me when I don't need quite as much hydration. So, um, in fact, I think you'll see the one that didn't work for me in my makeup vlog sale here soon. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to film that, but I have two enormous boxes for, I'm looking at those boxes over there. They're just like staring me down. I have so much stuff to sell. You wouldn't believe it. I got to really like clean. I've got to, I, I did a huge makeup clean out, um, stuff to donate, stuff to give to friends, stuff to sell. 
Um, so I'm going to probably have to break it into two videos. Anyway, that is not what this video is about. This video is about my Sephora VIB haul and that is what I picked up for round one. Um, we'll see how it goes for round two. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Maybe I should stay out of Sephora and not get anything else, except for there are a couple things that I really want to get that I did not get. So, and then um, I ordered something online and it has not come yet. So hopefully that comes soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you picked up weekend one. And if you didn't get to shop weekend one, what you're picking up weekend two. So thanks for watching. And as always, please interact with this video, like, share, comment, subscribe all that kind of stuff because the new YouTube algorithm sucks so bad. Okay, bye you guys. <laughs>